Good evening. I'm Bob Tuttle, I'm the U.S. Ambassador, and I'd like to uh, welcome you all to the U.S. Embassy uh, to this reception, uh, which kicks, uh, kicks off the uh, International Symposium on Transformational Diplomacy, organized by the University of Westminster's Diplomatic Academy here in London. And I believe, if I'm correct, that this is the third time since 1995 that the Embassy has had the honor of hosting a reception for a Westminster Diplomatic Academy Symposium. Um, of course, I'd first like to uh, welcome the Chairman, uh, I mean the Vice Chancellor, Professor Petz, and also Sir David Myers, who's here tonight, uh, who is himself a distinguished diplomat, and co-chairs of the symposium, uh, Dr. Mishka Muskawa and Professor Nabil uh, Ayad. And of course, Mr. Abdel uh, Ela Bennis. So I'd like to welcome you all here tonight. Let's just give them a little hand. For you. Um, I'm disappointed I'm, I'm not going to be with you the whole time because I'm delighted and intrigued that you have chosen as the topic for this symposium transformational diplomacy, shaping the future of international relations. Uh, and transformational diplomacy is a concept uh, introduced uh, by U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. Um, and if you will allow me, uh, before you've even started, but I would like to define the objective of transformational diplomacy in this way, uh, to work with our many partners around the world to build and sustain democratic, well-governed states that will respond to the needs of their people and conduct themselves responsibly in the international system. Uh, it is rooted in partnership, not paternalism, in doing things with people and not for them. So I look forward to, to reading your papers to see whether you perhaps agree or disagree with that, what I just said, and that emerged really from this conference, and to hearing about your discussions, and I really would like to wish you well over the next two days. So now let me welcome to the podium uh, Vice, Plan Vice Chancellor Pitts. Mr. Ambassador, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I am very, very pleased indeed to be here this evening and to thank you very sincerely for your continuing support over more than a decade. Uh, we're very proud to have this association and we look forward to it continuing. Um, As you mentioned, we have a long association, and I have to use my crib note because the numbers are really quite significant, that uh, in this year alone, uh, we are hosting some 400 American students on junior year abroad, 100 on full degree programs, and 200 on summer schools. So we really do have a very considerable relationship with you, sir. Uh, and I'm very pleased indeed uh, to see that, and I look forward to growing that even further. My own background is as a water scientist, uh, and what you won't know is that I've spent a considerable amount of my time in the United States. Indeed, my first post was at UCLA, back in 19-something or other. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and since then, I've found myself on, on various groups and committees in the United States, um, looking after the management of that small stream called the Mississippi, among other projects. And it's, and it's absolutely intriguing working in such a large country on such large rivers and then coming back to Britain with our little streams and trying to transfer knowledge between the two countries. But I certainly have gained enormously from working with colleagues in the States over the years uh, and I look forward to doing that on a personal basis as well. The University has a large number of links at the institutional level, uh, the most successful of which is with the Smithsonian, uh, but also with Johns Hopkins uh, and people here, I believe, from the um, University of Southern California, particularly the Centre on Public Diplomacy. We thank you all for your continuing support and we look forward to expanding those links in the future. And in particular, we, we hope to welcome even more of you to this type of event. The Diplomatic Academy of London is one of the jewels in our crown. 
I look around at the talent here today, it is spectacular. The reasons why many of you have changed career, thought about moving in the diplomatic circles um, are for you to know. But you share one common passion, and that is that there is a single route to success at the global scale. And we are very much um, looking forward over the next few days to interacting with you at the conference and sharing with you our experiences and learning from your experiences. So Ambassador, I thank you once again and thank you all for joining us for this um, important conference and I look forward to seeing a very successful outcome over the next few days. Thank you very much. Thank you.